All right. So Toys R Us. If you're in the States and you're like, what the heck? I thought Toys R Us was gone. <laughs> well, I'm in Canada. And uh, as far as I know, Toys R Us never closed here. I, I don't know. I seem to remember one of the stores around here maybe closing for a couple of years, but then it came back. But maybe I'm remembering that wrong. <laughs> I don't think Toys R Us in Canada ever closed. Um, so, yeah, I think in the States, uh, Toys R Us might be coming back. You might be getting some stores coming back. But again, here in Canada, I don't think it ever left. Um, obviously, I remember Toys R Us pretty fondly. Um, when I was a kid, that was like the store. Um, and, you know, it was like they had all the video game stuff, like the Nintendo and Sega and everything. And, you, you know, obviously they had all your other toys and your water guns and everything else you wanted when you were a kid. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I hadn't been in a Toys R Us in a couple of years, and so uh, I went into this one uh, mainly because I was looking for, I've been looking for this Lego Speed Champions. They did the Fast and the Furious um, Nissan Skyline, the R34. I'm sort of a sucker for the Lego Speed Champions. Um, I've got quite a few of them. You've seen a few of them, like the Lamborghini Countach. Um, I've got the James Bond, like Austin Martin DB5 or DBS. I forget what it is. <laughs> I forget exactly what it is. Uh, but yeah, I got a bunch of these. I got like Porsche 911. I got old Mustang, Ferrari F40, um, the Audi uh, Quattro, the Dodge Charger from Fast and the Furious, which was awesome. I was really hoping because they did that one last. The next one was going to be um, the Supra, like Brian's orange Supra. I was really hoping that was going to be the next one, but I'll take the R34. Anyways, I've been looking for that, and it's like sold out everywhere. Um, Walmart, you know, is usually where I would go to get these, and it's just totally sold out everywhere. So I thought I would try Toys R Us because they have a pretty big Lego section there. Um, so I thought if anyone would have it, maybe they would. They didn't, unfortunately, but <laughs> nonetheless, it was cool to go into a Toys R Us. Again, hadn't been in one in years, and it's changed around quite a bit there's no more video game section and i don't know if that's all the toys r us's <laughs> or if that's just some of them but yeah what used to be the video game section the very front like when, when you walk in the doors it'd be to the left the front left um, section of the store um, that used to be the video game section and now it's all action figures um, because like I, there was all this retro like horror movie themed stuff, the Phantom of the Opera and Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, um, all that kind of stuff. There was a Star Trek: The Next Generation, <laughs> um, GI Joe. Like the oh, they had new, they had a section that was the new GI Joe action figures, and then they had a section that was like the old school retro uh, GI Joe, and same with like Star Wars and Ninja Turtles and everything else you would expect. Um, but yeah, so what used to be the video game section is now just they've expanded into a lot of these kind of like retro action figures um, that would be, again, kind of more um, more geared towards adults, really. Speaking of more geared towards adults, look at Playmobil. What the heck? This used to make baby toys, but now look at this. They got like the A-Team van. They got some like vintage Porsche 911. Um, the, it was the Gullwing Mercedes. I mean, wow, that's really geared towards adult, isn't it? Um, they got the uh, the Knight Rider kit, <laughs> the Pontiac, you know, Firebird or Trans Am from Knight Rider. Uh, they got the Back to the Future DeLorean, but like super detailed, and it looks like it comes with like all the little characters and accessories and lights and everything. That's actually kind of cool. Secretly, I want to buy it, but it feels weird to buy Playmobil. <laughs> As an adult, uh, they got this huge Nerf section in there, um, which is kind of crazy. I mean, I guess Nerf's that popular. <laughs> it's a, like its own section with all this fancy, uh, you know, like retail uh, signage and everything. Um, the Lego section, like I said, is pretty big there. But, eh, again, they didn't have the uh, R34 I was looking for. Again, not so, this thing is sold out everywhere. Uh, but anyways, I guess that's it. Toys R Us, if you haven't been in one in a while, maybe check it out. If you're living in the States, I think you're going to be getting some Toys R Us 
stores opening, um, maybe in the next uh, year or two or whatever. Uh, and again, kind of geared more towards adults with a lot of the action figures and stuff. So interesting. Um, and no more video game section, which is crazy. But, you know, it kind of makes sense. They probably make more profit off some of these action figures and pop figures than they do video games. And, you know, if you want video games, just go to Walmart or EB Games or GameStop or whatever it's called. now. <laughs> I usually just buy all my games at Walmart, to be honest. But anyways, yeah, that's it. Toys R Us. Check it out.